News Peace and Security Council meeting attended by heads of state and governments has assessed the growing terrorist activities in Africa. The current chair of the AU Peace and Security Council, Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, has called for a consolidated global approach in the war against terror. Terrorism is a threat that affects all of us throughout the globe and we can only combat it with a global approach which begins with a, a war, if I, I can say so, to fight terrorism using whatever means uh, we have at our disposal so that our people will have a future that is safe. The African Union believes that the transboundary nature of terrorism is jeopardizing the very existence of sovereign states on the continent. The evolving nature of attacks coupled with the emergence of more sophisticated alliances among terrorist groups has posed a threat beyond the capacity of many African states. It is more, all the more urgent uh, that uh, we are attending to the uh, ramification of the threat uh, to global uh, threat and security. And uh, obviously there are thousands of mil uh, uh, terrorist combatants that are spreading around our continent. This calls for greater co coordination at the co uh, regional and continental level among the leaders and the intelligence uh, and uh, law and order. The UN agrees that a comprehensive global approach in fighting terrorism is the right approach. The devastating consequences of the threat posed by terrorism in Africa demand collective and comprehensive action. No single nation, institution or organization can defeat terrorism in Africa or anywhere else. We need a sustained, cooperative and coordinated approach in tackling this menace. Many say apart from the coordinated fight against terror, Africa needs to also address the root cause of conflict and emergence of terrorists. The work of eradicating poverty and winning the fight against corruption in Africa are all most important ingredients to end the suffering of people in the continent. Group Tana CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.